China's domestic 5 nanometer chip has made a major breakthrough. No wonder ASML's tone has changed. Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that China's self-developed chip technology and ASML's EUV lithography machines. The importance of chips is self-evident. Although the chip industry has developed for more than half a century, there are still a lot of thresholds in the design link of the chip. On the one hand open authorization, but it is not authorized to design a powerful chip by itself, and because the authorization costs are expensive, it is not that ordinary start-ups can afford it. Not to mention the test of streaming, if the designed chip flow failed, then less than 10 million funds, and more than hundreds of millions of funds. So if you want Chinese domestic chips to spread all over the world, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all we must make breakthroughs in the design of the chip. And now we have done it. According to media reports, the domestic chip IP authorized enterprise Xinyuan shares have achieved the success of the 5 nanometer level chip, and multiple 5 nanometer one stop service projects have been implemented. Maybe many friends do not know many of the chip IP authorization, but it is not difficult to understand. A chip often has a lot of functions especially system-level chips, which contains many small chips with a lot of various functions. In the chip design, it is necessary to design the technology for each function. There are actually many small functions that are universal. Different chips do not have the difference in performance in the same function. Therefore, these IPs cannot be designed by themselves, just by IP authorization directly. In the past, buying IP authorization is often the authorization of the entire micro-architecture. After buying it, you also need to design it yourself for each subdivision module, which is the so-called public version architecture. In the era, the overall micro-architecture authorized is aimed at the same era, that is, the same architecture, and the heterogeneous era is a different micro-architecture in a chip. Therefore, designing a chip can be combined with the required IPs, which is a chip. These IPs have been verified by streaming, because the design time of the chip has been greatly shortened, the success rate has increased significantly, the chip is greatly improved, the chip is greatly improved. The threshold for design is greatly reduced, so it is foreseeable that domestic chips will bloom everywhere. The heterogeneous chip is due to the emergence of core grain technology. The so-called core grain is to combine small chips with different architectures, and finally form a large chip. This is not available before. Now, our domestic chip is manufacturing enterprises can already create 4 nanometer chips through core grain technology. Core grain technology has become the general direction of the development of the chip industry. For example, Intel has established the UCIE alliance in the United Industry. The essence of the alliance is to develop core grain technology. In order to promote the core grain technology, Intel every year in the manufacturing technology of the chip lane, Intel every year investing billions of dollars for research and development. So in this way, we have become the world's first echelon in the upstream design and downstream manufacturing links of the core grain industry. Therefore, it is not difficult to understand why ASML changes attitude. 
Domestic chips have made breakthroughs in the design session, so domestic chips will usher in a heyday, and more and more domestic chips will gradually replace imported chips. This undoubtedly creates huge opportunities for domestic chip foundries, so it will be right. The light carvings, especially the DUV light carved machine, have great demand. According to previous media reports, in the past year, 19 of the world's fastest growing chip companies, 19 of which are Chinese companies. Moreover, since this year, we have continued to decrease in the number of imported chips. It has decreased by more than 54 billion in the first eight months of this year, but chip exports are increasing. In fact, in 2021, the largest source of revenue of ASML was already in mainland China, and not long ago, SMIC once again announced the expansion plan of 340,000 wafers. While the factory has greatly reduced capital expenditure, SMIC chooses to increase capital expenditure, an increase of more than 30%. So we see that the curtain has been opened, and there is no doubt that for ASML, this is a prosperous carnival. Coincidentally, in recent days, in terms of the chip bill proposed in Europe, the European think tank said that it should be fully borrowed from reference. Chinese experience, because they have only used the current scale and achievements for less than 10 years. In the future domestic chip industry, we are full of expectations. And the domestic technology is not bad. It is reported that domestic chip companies have designed and manufactured 4 nanometers chips through the core particle technology, but there is no corresponding official news at present. Obviously, it will take some time before the final commercial use. Presumably the reason is out. On the acquisition of lithography machines. Since the birth of Huawei's Kirin chip, the development of China's semiconductor industry has attracted the attention of the whole world. It is also controlled in the 14 nanometers range. ASML's DUV lithography machine is just stuck at this node. Faced with the continuous rise of China's chip, the Netherlands faced the continuous pressure from the United States to cut off the supply, directly handed over the choice to the enterprise, and supported the practice of continuous supply. In response to this issue, a direct dialogue with the United States was formally launched. SMIC's continuous expansion of 28 nanometers production capacity has also brought a lot of orders to ASML. After EUV lithography machines were restricted from shipments, facing the decline in demand for high-end chips, it is obvious that relying on several existing customers cannot meet the business requirements. To meet the demand, we can only place the demand on the Chinese market. ASML has stated many times, I will not give up the Chinese market. Now it seems that this tough American approach is really right. Even if the domestic lithography machine is born, in the face of huge market demand, ASML can still dominance. What do you think about that? Thank you for your watching.